All right, welcome once again to Hello WordPress. We're now quickly going to look at Canva, how to shrink your images for your WordPress website. So <coughs> normally if you <coughs> download images, especially if you want high quality images, those images could very easily be one megabyte in size or bigger. And you don't want to download those images directly to your WordPress website because WordPress will take that lar large image and it will create thumbnails, a series of thumbnails which it will store in the background for each image that you load onto your website. So you want to avoid uh, reloading images or duplicate images the, the entire time. Just because you're deleting it from your library doesn't mean that the images are not being created in the background. Like I said, it keeps on creating thumbnails, a series of thumbnails, images for every time that you load an image. And when you delete an image from your library, it does not delete those thumbnail images. And before you know it, your hosting packages gets fuller and fuller and your website gets bigger and bigger and you don't really know why. So that's why we use Canva. So open up your browser and type in Canva. Now I'm not going to open an account. I've already got an account. It's free so you can just take your own time, open up a Canva account and every time that you log in, this will be the screen that you'll get. Uh, in my case, it automatically logs me in every time that I visit the site. From here, what you need to do is create a new design. So we're now going to create a, let's say, product image. You go down to custom size, and this is in pixels, the PX. Normally, we all work in pixels. So you would like to create an image that's in the vicinity of about 500 pixels in width or in height, more or less. So in this case, I'm just going to create an image that's uh, 500 pixels wide. And let's make this 600 pixels in height. And click on Create the Design. Now this is, uh, these are advertising coming up. You'll find a lot of those. This is the canvas that you're going to put your photo on. So you can go to Uploads and I just downloaded some images from um, from Yandex uh, there is a JPEG image and you'll notice it's quite big 2560 pixels wide and I, know, I want you to notice the size of this image it's 485 KB so we'll see how much it shrinks it so you just drag it down to your browser drag it all the way up and drop it into your folder there now it's busy uploading just give it a second there it's uploaded now from here you can drag it onto the canvas so without dropping it it will automatically sel uh, select itself where it wants to go but don't drop it just put it in the middle and then you can size it the way you want now this image is a, it's 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 a uh, landscape image not a portrait image but yet our canvas is more of a portrait style so obviously this image will not fit in there but let's say we only want the nose of this image that's what we want okay the way you leave it is how it's going to download so let's click on download and you need to choose a JPEG image because a PNG image we only use that for images with a clear background a see-through background um, and for logos so you, you in this case we want to go for a JPEG image and then click on download it will download automatically you can ignore these adverts that keep on coming up because they just want you to get a paid account Right, so there we've downloaded this image, and if we now go back to our downloads folder, um, there's the new image and the new dimensions, which is 500 by 600. But now look at the size of this image. It's 32.1K versus the original image of almost half a megabyte in size. And if we open that, there's no difference in quality. The quality is exactly the same. Obviously, if you zoom in, you will lose bit quality because we shrink the image to that size. Right. That's basically how you use Canva. The nice thing about Canva is you can 
upload multiple images here. So if you have, let's say in this case, we'll take all three of those images, you can just drag them all at once and throw them into your folder and it will download all the images at once. Right, once they download it, it's very simple. If you want to do the next image, you can just click on the canvas area and press delete. It will delete it. Now let's take the next image. In this case, we're now taking a PNG image. And once again, it will fit itself to the image, but you can put it in any way you like. So let's say this would be a product, a product which you've already removed the background from and you want to maybe put it not quite at the top let's put it in this position there uh, if this is a product image it will work very well and now you can download it what's important to notice is this size you would like all your images for your products to be the exact size of the canvas Right, so let's download this as a PNG and then we'll see what it looks like. Download. Close the advertising. And then let's go back to our folder. And this will be, that's the image there. This one, yeah. And let's open it. And we've got a nice smaller size image. Let's just look at the size. The original size image if I hover over it, was 2.66 megabytes. This image is only 119 KB. Can you see why we want to shrink images with Canva? It just makes it so much smaller and ready for uh, products and images on your website. All right, going back to Canvas, you can simply delete that once again. And if you want to have a different size image let's say these are all your product images and you want to go for uh, let's say a header image or a euro image on your website you can just close this window at the top you're back where canva was and you can just simply create a bigger size image now a standard width image uh, <clears throat> if you have a small laptop or a small computer uh, you need to always make provision for the guys with the big screens. So your standard size for a big screen would be 1920 in width by 1080 in height. So let's create this. And now we've got the bigger um, canvas. So once again, go to your uploads folder on the left. And then we'll take the image that we uploaded first, which is a nice big size image. This time we can just drop it in in the center and you can then download this image as a full screen image for your website. Once again, let's go down to download it as JPEG and then I want to show you what the difference is. Obviously, we're saving it as a much bigger file size, so it will be bigger in size as well. All right, so there we've got the file that we just downloaded now. And if you hover it, it's 140K. The original image, it's this one, yeah, was again just under half a megabyte in size. And this is something that you would like, want to load on your website. So there's no difference in quality. If you open it up in a big screen, look at the perfect quality that it still has. So Canva doesn't lose any detail or quality on your image. It just shrinks it down to a smaller size. And that's the ins and outs of Canva. And once you log out of Canva and you log in next time, all these old photos are still in there. And you can simply just click on the ones that you want to delete and trash them and delete completely. And that's how you use Canva.